But during that time, there was a lot of negative press. I call it unofficial, sure. unofficial press um, from forums and just social media, et cetera. And it really did cause a stir in the running world. I want to understand what that was like for you as a team member. And I don't want you to speak for anyone else. What was that like for Joey as a part of Tin Man? How did you keep the blinkers on and have that tunnel vision? Because ultimately, you're a pro runner. You're training really hard. Mm-hmm. You know, anything external that makes that job harder is so tough. Yeah. How did you How did you deal with that time as an, as an individual in the team? It was... It was incredibly difficult. Um, it definitely like gave me thicker skin in terms of criticism from, you know, we like as like pro runners, like we don't like necessarily receive the same criticism as like say a football player or a baseball player would get because there's not a talk show like Stephen A isn't talking like, <laughs> like like absolutely roasting us on his morning show, you know, like he's roasting like baseball and basketball and football players saying like this guy does not have what it takes you know like but at the same time like those those guys like have to handle that like every single day and this is the first time that we're getting that kind of negative press and like I think it was really difficult for me because I like at that time I felt like I was still the worst guy on the team like that was my mindset like you're the worst guy on the team you have to work your way out through this and I felt like I was the reason why everybody said we sucked, which was really hard. Like I put that all on myself. Like nobody truly thinks like that Drew Hunter sucks at running. They think I suck at running. And that's why they say Tin Man sucks. And like, that was really difficult to deal with because it like did not help with my self-confidence at all. And so to get this kind of like criticism of like, they're not very good anyways. Like I took that fully upon myself that it's like, I am the reason why people don't think Tim and Elite is good because I go out there and I run shit and I am a direct reflection on the whole team. And that was really difficult, especially like with, I mean, that would spend like general criticism, like that you'd see sparsely throughout time, like, oh, they're not very good. And so I, again, I take that personally, but you know, once we had that coaching change and all of a sudden it's like, oh, not only are they not good, but they're shit people too like they like people were really like questioning our like integrity as human yeah. beings just because we did not see that our current coach was the best fit for us and that was really difficult to go through where we were doing what was best for us and people were using that as a way to on us as human beings and that really sucked you know that like again that's how I truly started developing some thicker skin as to what people were saying about me um it didn't help with my running at all I ran pretty bad I missed the trials by you know a second I missed the trial standard by a second that year and so it was just like really like a it felt like a big downward spiral spiral for about three or four months there where it's like I couldn't get my footing in terms of running performances and I was letting those outside factors really affect me um yeah it was really tough but like at the same time, like we all kind of came together as a team when we made that decision. We're like, look, we're going to receive a lot of flack. We're going to like get a lot of pushback, but this is something that we have to do together. Like we really have to invest in each other during this time. And I feel like we did do that. Um, But again, like it was super difficult from an individual perspective to feel like I had a place in the running world where not only was I like already being shit on as a runner, but I was being shit on as a human. I was like, what's like, what's the point of doing this if like, I'm just going to be like, you know, a point of contention in this space. And so I really had to like invest in my, like myself and like throw, you know, like it's, it's never really been about the glory per se, but I had to throw the idea that we were receiving attention at all aside and really just invest in myself and my teammates, you know, that's where I like, that's where I really needed to like double down on like, this is like you're doing this because you want to be a good runner and you want to see where your ceiling is, you know, like, don't, you can't worry about what other people are saying, because at the end of the day, like you have to go to sleep at night knowing like your decisions and what you did. And for me, I knew that I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing I didn't truly go for it. So it was worth pursuing. I just kind of had to like put a shell over myself for quite some time there to like, make sure I got that done without without like really internalizing some of that negative stuff and eventually over time it just started you know the negative 
press and you know the comments just started becoming kind of comical and so um i don't go back and read those message board comments or anything i you know from time to time i have read i have gone back to some of the old posts and seen some of the shit that we've gotten and you know you realize that you like just can't take that personally because it's just not worth doing you know and it's just some people are just angry for the sake of being angry or some people are critical for the sake of being critical and they're allowed to do that like that's part of it you know 